They do have some good receivers. They added Austin Eckler. He's currently the backup to Brian Robinson Jr., who has had his moments. It was weird last year when they trade Montez Sweat and Chase Young, just boom, boom, but contractual issues, et cetera. I, they fall into that category of team that everyone is going to overlook and assume is going to be an also-ran. And if they can string together some wins in anonymity, they can be in the mix late in the year. It's kind of a Texans vibe. We mentioned that yesterday. Both the Bears and the Commanders have that possible Texans vibe this year where they can just kind of go about their business. There is a Monday night game fairly early in the year. But, you know, a lot of these games are just going to be plugging along and plugging along. And when they get to their bye week 14, those last four games, you know, not entirely impossible. Maybe they'll be in striking distance for a late run at a playoff berth, you know, because they, they haven't been awful. They just they just haven't been on the right side of the teams that get to the postseason. Yeah, no, they, I mean, you know, they, Ron Rivera, they had some years there where they probably exceeded expectations. And, of course, you know, the biggest problem has been the quarterback there, nonetheless. And, yeah, I don't, I don't know if the team is actually as good as it was a few years ago when – you know, they, they went to uh, the the playoffs with Heineke and all of that, right? They're a little bit in like, hey, retool, rebuild mode. I have a little more of the Texans feeling with the Bears than the Commanders. I do. Uh, but nonetheless, like, um, I hear what you're saying. And there is potential here for them to be explosive on offense and him do some big things. I just wonder if there's going to be too much pressure on him. Can they protect well enough? Can they run the ball a little bit to take a little pressure on him? And the defense... Yeah, without those two guys on the edge and all that, I, I and and some other questionable posi- positions, I just wonder how good they're going to be over there too. One of the ingredients that the Bears definitely don't have, Texans had last year, is nobody expected anything. Yeah, that's With right. With the Bears, you can look at it and say, okay, okay, yeah, they, yeah. they could be something. Right. And you can look at the commanders and say, okay, it could fall together a certain way and maybe they could be something. Last year, even at this point of the season, there was nothing – that we saw or heard about in the preseason that made us think, oh, hey, hey, Texans are going to go on a tear. Texans are going to end up winning the division. Texans are going to blow out the Browns in the wild card round and then give the Ravens everything they can handle for the first half of a divisional game. We never would have expected that a year ago, which the NFL loves that storyline when that happens because that's what reels in. That's what reengages every fan base because you can – delude yourself into thinking and it's not delusional to think maybe everything falls right this year for us and it changes everything for the future that's what's happened to the Texans. like washington go back to something okay go ahead go ahead ahead. well you do this you do this because we got some time to kill and i wanted to raise something okay i wanted to just yeah like fun talk right you know barstool talk here a little bit of just about you know football in general washington though okay you just you had to put money on it right are you are you gonna make the? Are you gonna make them two in the division? Three, four, right? I mean, I would certainly make three. them three, right? I, I mean, maybe four. I think the Giants. Three, are gonna but be, maybe two. Okay. Three, but maybe two, because I think with the Cowboys, I don't know what they're gonna you don't do. Know this what to year. expect there? Yeah, I, 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 I get you there. I get you there. I think the Giants are a little closer to Washington than than people realize too. So did you not watch the? Did you not? Did we not talk? Was that somebody else? Was that some <laughs> other giant with blonde hair that was here yesterday when we saw the Daniel Jones co lights? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah. Weekend? They're getting them out of. We're getting him out of his system now. We're getting him out. Now's now. the time to do it. Yeah, Now's the time right. to do it. It's preseason. <laughs> uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. All day long on WFAN yesterday, that was the reaction. Yeah, I'm sure. Yes, yes. All the cool-headed customers uh, listening to WFAN. I'm sure they had nothing crazy to say. <laughs> well, there are the odds. So at least the betting public believes that far and away the Eagles are the favorites. Then the Cowboys, who won the division last year, somehow because the Eagles collapsed mainly, and then the Commanders. And there are the Giants. Wow, 20 to 1. So the the betting public does not believe in Daniel Jones. What a shock. Yeah, I, I think that's what it is. Yes. So he's, he's got to bounce back. Hopefully he gets to play a few series this week in this game and, you know, ease, you know, calm everybody's nerves a little bit, ease the pain that way. But there's areas here where, you know, again, I think that's way too big of a margin between Washington and the Giants. I, I really do. Uh, you, 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 the Giants, the O line's got a chance to certainly be better. Their receivers are going to be pretty damn good. Their defense has got some stuff too. I mean, their D line's going to be real. The Giants linebackers are pretty good too. They need another corner 
That's probably what they look at, but I, I think that's going to be a little closer than what the, the odds makers think it's going to be. Okay, you have a chance to win $1 million in the NBC sweepstakes on Yahoo Fantasy. Just download the redesigned Yahoo Fantasy app or go to NBCSports.com slash Fantasy Million for additional details. What are you waiting for? Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.